This set of slides is about selected economic indicators and in this presentation we will explain how to calculate the unemployment rate. So how do we measure employment and unemployment? First we have to look at the definitions. So unemployed persons are people who are willing and able to work but do not have a job. The labour force is everyone who is willing and able to work, therefore it includes the unemployed persons and the employed persons. And the unemployment rate is the ratio of the unemployed persons to the total labour force. So this is the formula to calculate the unemployment rate. It's the number of unemployed divided by the labour force times 100 to turn it into a percentage. So we have two definitions of unemployment. We have a strict definition of unemployment and an expanded definition of unemployment. So the strict definition of, definition of unemployment excludes the discouraged job seekers who had given up on finding a job, while the expanded definition includes the discouraged job seekers who are no longer trying to find a job. So to qualify as unemployed based on the strict definition, you need to have been unemployed for seven days prior to the interview when the employment or unemployment was measured. You should want to work and you should be able to start working within seven days of the interview. And you should have taken active steps to find work in the three weeks prior to the interview. In other words, you are not discouraged yet. So those are the three criteria to qualify as unemployed based on the strict definition of unemployment. To qualify as unemployed based on the expanded definition, you need to have been unemployed for seven days and you should be able to want to work and can start to work within seven days. So this third criteria does not apply to the expanded definition of unemployment. Therefore it includes the discouraged workers who are no longer trying to find a job. So let's look at, a, at an example. We have a total population of 35,000. We have unemployed persons based on the strict definition, 5,000. There are 3,500 discouraged work seekers and there are 15,000 employed persons. So we're going to use the strict definition of unemployment and the expanded definition of unemployment to calculate the unemployment rate. So this one excludes the discouraged work seekers, while the expanded definition includes the discouraged job seekers. So according to the strict definition, the number of unemployed persons is 5,000. According to the expanded definition, the number of unemployed persons is 5,000 plus the 3,500 discouraged work seekers. So 8,500. 5,000 plus 3,500 gives us 8,500. So according to the strict definition of unemployment, the labor force is the unemployed persons plus the employed persons, 15,000. That is equal to 20,000. According to the expanded definition, the labor force is now 8,500 unemployed persons plus the 15,000 who have jobs, so that gives us 23,500. So this is the formula to calculate the unemployment rate, the number of unemployed divided by the labor force times 100. So according to the strict definition, the unemployment rate is the 5,000 unemployed persons 
divided by the labor force, 20,000 times 100, which gives us 25%. According to the expanded definition, the unemployment rate is the 8,500 unemployed persons, in other words, it includes the discouraged work seekers, divided by the labor force, which also includes the discouraged workers, 23,500 times 100. And if you do that calculation, it is 36,17%. So you can see that the unemployment rate, based on the expanded definition, is higher than the unemployment rate based on the strict definition. You should now be able to do the following. Distinguish between the strict and expanded definition of unemployment and calculate the employment unemployment rate using both of these definitions.